Hey guys, Moran Pobere here, and today I want to share with you how my clients are buying anywhere between one to three multi-million dollar businesses each year. I don't want to waste time, I want to get right into the details because all the trainings out there, they talk a lot, they're introducing themselves before. No, I want to get right into the details, show you how to Z, how you can buy an existing established business, and I'll show you how to also use other people's money as a leverage and how to also find professional managers to run the day-to-day -day for you so you can then step back and live a chill lifestyle or you have the time to go and buy more businesses like your competitors or other complementary business in your sector or different sectors. So who is this training for? This is not for everyone, guys. So this is for mostly for people who want to grow faster. If you have an existing business, and you feel like growing one client at a time is just too slow. You feel like if you're going to lose one client, there's no business or the business is really dependent on you right now. So you're not really a business owner working on the business. You're a business work owner working in the business. You basically have a job inside your business. You're not really a business owner. So this is for you guys. This is also for people who just, I guess, getting bored fast. So especially if you run business day to day or you want to become a business owner, and you just don't like to do the same boring, repeatable stuff, going and finding clients, going and do the same sales process again and again. Buying businesses is really amazing for people with a lot of energy who are good with people, who like the art of the deal, as we call it, who like to think about big ideas, about a big vision. And then just they find good professional managers who like to do the repeatable day-to-day -day stuff on managing a business. So if that fits you, definitely stick with me in the next minutes because I'm going to share with you how you can get some of the results like my clients who buy one, two, three businesses in less than a year. So in the next minutes, I'm going to show you how to do this, but I'm not just going to show you the process. I'm going to show you how to leverage and become financially free from just one deal. And you know what? Not just financially free, but literally free with your time and free in terms of emotional freedom because... I'm telling you, when you own a business and someone else is running the day-to-day -day for you, I'm, I'm not saying this is easy. This is not for getting rich quick. This is for people who are willing to put in the work, who are committed, but just want to leverage their time more. And they know that when they have more time, they can then do more things with more leverage. I'm also going to show you how to position yourself as a legit business buyer, even if you don't have much experience or even if your business is fairly small. People, for some reason, think that they need to have a big public company before they can go out there and buy businesses. They think that they need millions of dollars in their bank account before they go out there and buy businesses. Would having millions of dollars in your bank account help you? Obviously, you can then do better and more deals. Is it a must? Not at all, because we can use other people's money and use leverage to do that. So stick with me for the next minutes, and I'll show you how to buy at least one business in the next month. Now, let me ask you this. If you sometimes feel like you growing too slow, like you're working too hard, 40, 60, 80 hours a week inside a business that you just don't like the day-to-day, -day. or maybe you have a job that you just don't like the day-to-day -day and you're working way too hard for just a, a very little amount of money because the business or the job that you're working in is pretty much dependent on you. If you're not going to your job or you're not going to your business, there's no business. So if that's you, this is definitely for you. This is for people who want to grow fast, who have a business, who have a job, but they know that you know what? With a job, you can only make so much next year, even if they're going to raise your salary. With a business, if you grow one client at a time, you can only grow so fast. Like with growing organically, as we say, growing one client at a time, I mean, how fast can you grow? I mean, eventually, if you grow 10% a year, they will count you as a good business. Or if you try to start a business from scratch, growing 10% a year, that's an amazing percentage for you. I'm not talking about the first or second year, which most fail. I mean, 99% of startups fail in the first years. I'm talking about in this space, when you were buying existing business, we are talking of growing hundreds of percentage each year because you can buy a business that's on your same size, basically. And many times it will take you the same amount of time and capital to buy a business as it is to get a client. Like most people out there working so hard to get a client, I'm, I want to show you that it will take you the same amount of time and sometimes money to just go out there and buy existing business. Or maybe let me know if, if you have a job or you have a business. Maybe you feel like all your eggs are, are in one basket. That if there's going to be a change in the market or something happens with your, the, the, the business that you work for, 
I mean, one change in the market basically means you got nothing, no income anymore, no wealth, no assets, because all your eggs are in one basket in here. Even if you have an existing business, if that business, something happens, you lose a client, all the business is gone, right? I want to show you how when you buy other businesses, you basically now have multiple stream of income from different assets. Now, I don't like about being all over the place. And I think, I think being all over the place isn't a good strategy, but it's not about that. I'm going to show you, let's say you have a business in, in marketing, in social media, for example. I see many people talk about social media businesses right now. You can have a social media business, but then to buy an SEO business, to buy a web design agency, to buy a Google AdWords agency. And then you're basically in the same sector. You are becoming an expert in that field of marketing, but you have different assets, different sources with businesses that have different list of clients, different services to offer. So even if something goes down, even if tomorrow Facebook will tell you, hey, you can't use Facebook anymore to help clients or something like that, you still have all the other sources. So if it sounds like you, definitely stick with me. I'm going to share with you a lot about the details and how to move forward with making this successful for you as well. And you're probably thinking that, you know what, what are all of your mistakes? Maybe you think, you know what, I'm trying to grow one client at a time, or maybe my sector isn't the right sector, or maybe I don't have enough money. Guys, those are not your issues. Your issues is that you didn't make the shifts that I'm going to walk you through in this video. So let me walk you through the shifts that are missing in, for you to be successful and buy and own at least one, two, three multi-million dollar businesses in the next few months. And I'm telling you, when you're going to make those shifts that I'm going to walk you through, guys, you're going to wake up in the morning to hundreds of messages of people telling you, thank you. Thank you for saving jobs. Thank you from customers, from employees, from many people around the world that you impact in businesses that you now own. Those are the kind of things you can wake up to. You can wake up to, to meetings that you're going to have in this space, businesses that you're going to buy, businesses that you're going to sell. And in one meeting, you can make more money than you made in your lifetime. I'm talking, guys, one business like this is all you need to become financially free. And when you sell one of those businesses, I'm talking about a few million dollars in cash that you can put into your bank account after taxes. In one meeting like this, you can make more in one day than most people make in their lifetime. So this is what I'm talking about. What's going to happen when you're going to make the shifts that I'm going to walk you through. And the beauty is, is that you'll own businesses with professional managers running the day to day for you. So you can then go to the office whenever you want. You can buy those businesses all over the world and have management team in place in those businesses running the day to day for you. You can then step back, own those businesses from all over the world. And if you want, just go to the office whenever you want, make sure that everything is okay. So this is what I'm going to walk you through in the next few minutes. So stick with me, make sure you're not missing anything. Make sure you have a pen and paper in front of you and a writing note because this can change your life. And if you're asking if you're already, you're still with me until now, and you're asking who is this person who have the credibility to teach me this? Well, my name is Moan Pober. I've been in multiple businesses, seven figure businesses over the last 10 years. I've been involved in e-commerce, SaaS, software. I mean, I had a successful app company. Right now we're working and trying to sell, buy or raise capital for especially tech companies. And you can check those details on me, uh, especially the deep, VC sector, so we're talking about AI, marketplaces, SaaS companies, all the, think about all the companies that venture capital firms are trying to work with. Those are our main sectors of companies we have in the portfolio trying to sell, raise capital, buy, things like that. At the same time, we're also working on roll-ups right now in the UK, US, Australia, where roll-ups is basically bringing a few companies together. And in our place, and if you want to check some of my other videos about reverse exits, this is where I'm going to show you how to bring few companies together. And that's what we're working on right now, bringing a few companies together and we sell them as a group. So we have a big buyer who's looking for a business doing 10 million a year in sales. We can in a few weeks bring in companies together and then sell that group and take obviously a large percentage from that group. Now, I don't want to overwhelm you with all the details. Uh, you can watch that on my other videos, but right now I want you to get focused on this because I want to get you into the details to understand the fundamentals first of what you're missing, what you need to do exactly to get those results to just buy one, two, three businesses in the next year to change your life. So this is about me, guys. I have the experience. I've been there. I've done that. I'm doing this right now with me, my team. I have partners who've been involved in hundreds of deals, billion dollar worth of deals. And I'm working with them day to day. That's what we're doing, trying to do deals. And at the same time, over the last kind of like few months, I started this promoting myself on social media with hundreds of videos of me helping people and then working extensively with people who want to get the next level. 
and I help them buy businesses as well. And we have clients who bought, like I said, we have a client who bought three businesses in less than a year with a management team in place, with using other people's money to buy those businesses. I mean, heck, we have people who bought 30 plus businesses. We have a guy who bought seven businesses. So we have a lot of clients who are buying businesses in the boring sectors. And there's nothing boring about them because they're maybe they're growing slower than the tech companies. But I'm talking about sectors like engineering, IT, constructions, advertising companies. There's nothing wrong with them. They are more stable, actually. They might grow a little bit slower, but I mean, those are amazing businesses. And you can go and buy a business from baby boomers, businesses that exist for 10, 20 years and buy them and have someone running them for you without a lot of work on your end. And that's how you can build wealth. And that's what my clients are doing. So this is me in a nutshell. But right now, I want to get back to you, to the shifts and the steps you need to take in order to get to those steps as well. So let's start with the first shift. So the, sh the first shift I want to walk you through is the shift of escaping time for money. And what I'm referring to in this, um, I guess, point is the fact that most people either have a job or they have a job inside of their own business and they just say to themselves, oh, you know, what? at least I own 100% of something. Guys, right now, unless you're escaping the time for money equation, it's going to be really hard for you to build wealth financially with your time because you're basically trading time for money. You're going out there, you're doing work. And unless you're doing that work, there's no money coming in. It's going to be really, really difficult for you to build wealth. And I'm not even talking about those who leave their job to start a business from scratch. 99% of startups fail. And if you have an existing business that exists for less than 10 years, unfortunately, you have a large percentage to fail as well because you're still a startup. So the first thing you got to focus on is you got to escape the time for money trade off. Unless you're going to do that, it's going to be really, really hard for you to take the next level. And like some of my clients, become financially free from one good business. Because to get to a point where your business is doing at least a million a year in sales, it's going to take some time. And most businesses in the US, they're not even getting to that point in the first five, 10 years. And even if they're getting to that point, most time they will fail eventually. That's why when we're looking to buy businesses, we are looking at businesses doing, existing for at least five, 10, some of them exist for 20, 30 years. The chances of them going down is really, really low because we're buying those businesses from baby boomers, people with a lot of experience many times. And they're maybe growing slow, but they're growing very um, steady and, and they're very stable. And that's what I want to show you. So that was shift number one, guys. Make sure you escape the, the trade-off of time for money. Otherwise, it's going to be really, really hard for you to scale. The second point is about leveraging what's working. Like I said, most people, for some reason, they try to grow something from scratch. They try to grow one client at a time. And they're not leveraging things that are already working. Like I said, there are millions of baby boomers right now looking to retire every single day. And they're looking for someone like you who's committed to take over their business because they don't have children to pass those businesses to. I'm telling you, there's never been a better time to buy one, two, ten businesses a year. And is it easy? I mean, no. Is it simple? Hell yes. For the right person who's committed, who's dedicated, who's willing to do that work. And I mean, why would you start something from scratch if there are people who are literally looking to get rid of their existing amazing businesses? They just look for the right people because they don't have anyone to pass those businesses to. Now, the reason that I'm telling you, don't reinvent the wheel from scratch. I mean, maybe you're thinking, you know what? I want to invent the next Facebook. Why? I mean, think about things twice. Every time, ask yourself, why do you want to do something? And for most people that I met, they are getting themselves into a business because they want more lifestyle and a better income. And startups, to get to a point where you're taking a good income and have a great lifestyle, it's almost impossible in the first years. When you buy something existing that's already running without the owner almost, it's very, very different. So unless you have like the next Facebook idea, and I'm talking about like legit unique idea, like artificial intelligence, crazy stuff that you got going on for you, I wouldn't suggest you to start from scratch. And even if you have a crazy idea, most of the time, it's better to bring those ideas to something that's already existing, to a business that's already existing, that already got some assets that you can then use. Buy that business and then bring your crazy idea into that business because you already have a list of clients. You already have employees who can help you implement those ideas. So that's the second shift, guys. Leverage what's working. Don't reinvent the world. Don't start from scratch. It's going to take you so much longer. And the stats are out there. Most startups fail. And if your business exists for less than 10 years, you're still a startup. I don't care what size business you're at. So the third step or shift is you got to use some secret weapon. 
you got to use something that's working right now. The next new thing. Most people don't even know that it's possible to buy an existing business because they think that you need to be Facebook first. And in the past, maybe it wasn't as easy to do it as it right now. Because, I mean, right now you have so many financial institutions, so many potential financial partners and investors, so many baby boomers who are looking to sell their businesses. In the past, it wasn't that easy. People thought that you got to be Facebook first in order to buy companies like WhatsApp or Instagram. And I mean, right now, that's the new thing, guys. And if you don't use that, you can use the old ways, growing one client at a time, or you can step up. Step up, guys. Buy existing businesses. And the beauty is that you don't need to use all of your money or none at all to buy and grow your business by acquisitions. I mean, look at the biggest companies out there. Look at Facebook. They bought companies like Instagram. They bought companies like WhatsApp. And the beauty is that if you're going to search about the details of the acquisition when Facebook bought WhatsApp, for example, they bought the business for around $16 billion, if I, if I remember the right numbers, but they only paid around $4 billion at closing, which means that the rest of the payment was paid over a period of time or by using Facebook shares. And when they pay over a period of time, many times they can use the cash flow that's coming from WhatsApp to pay back most of their acquisition costs. You see what I mean? So they only, need come to, they only needed to come up with $4 billion at closing. And I'm talking about $16 billion acquisition, right? Do you think that Mark Zuckerberg paid everything from his own pocket? No, he raised that capital. He didn't spend any money from his own pocket to put that money. That's money that he raised from out there, from the, the markets, right? And you can do the same with small businesses. Businesses doing small for some of you guys one business like this is all you need they're not really small i'm talking businesses doing between one to ten million in sales those are sustainable nice businesses that you can own and one of them is all you need to become financially free literally now how do you do that so you got to use the secret weapon you got to do use the new way of doing business and there are a few steps to do that on how to buy business i want to walk you through the steps right now and get into the details of what you need to do one after another to get to a point where you're buying that business so when you're using the secret weapon, the first step would be to find good deals. And what I'm saying, I'm talking about finding good deals. It's about, first of all, realizing what's your criteria for a good deal, right? And I would suggest to you that you probably want to go to baby boomers, people who want to retire, people who are motivated to sell their business because there are millions of billions, billions of businesses out there and millions of businesses for sale. But the more motivated the seller is, the less time it will take you to close a deal. So ideally find someone who's motivated. Then. You got to find a way when I'm saying finding deals, you got to find ways that are working right now to get in touch with business owners. In the past, maybe cold calls was amazing or going door to door between business to business. Right now, it's just not as productive. Right now, there are so many ways that you can use to leverage the time, to leverage the internet, right? To outsource many things. And after you find those deals, you got to get to a point where you know how to filter through deals fast. Unless you do that, you're going to waste a lot of your time. And that's why, unfortunately, I see people who try to buy businesses or get into the space and they're wasting one, two, three years before they're doing one deal. Why? Because they don't know what are the best ways to find those deals, the right deals based on the right criteria, and they don't have the right system to filter through those deals. And if you're missing even a small step between each of those things that I mentioned, I mean, that can be the difference between you buying a business in the next month or two and you not buying a business in the next seven years or so. So... That's the first thing, right? You got to have the system, finding deals, your criteria, the best way to find deals that are working right now and the best way to filter through deals to make sure you're not wasting time on people who don't really want to sell the business, who just want someone to talk to and waste time. So that was the first thing. Second thing is you want to make compelling offers. And when I'm talking about making compelling offers, obviously, first of all, you, get to, you need to get the details about that business. And I'm telling you, one of the best ways to learn business is to position yourself and knowing how to position yourself as a legit business buyer. And you can position yourself as a legit business buyer if you, even if you have no experience, if you know what to do and how to talk exactly to those business owners. But when you want to make compelling offers, it means that you know how to analyze deals. It means that you know to make sure that the business that you're buying, the cash flow that's coming in from that business can cover the debt service that you can potentially go and raise to buy that business right? It means that you know how to make a sequence of offers. So not just one offer, you want to make, have a point where you have a sequence of offer and, and you know what offers you need to send one after the other if one is getting rejected. Because if you're just sending one offer to one business and then it's like, okay, that offer got rejected and you just move on to the next business, you're missing on a lot of deals. Because many times the second and third and fourth offer is going to be accepted. So you got to know all those things. And if you're missing small steps in between, 
I mean, that can be the difference between you owning a business or you don't owning a business, right? So that was that step. The next step is about locating easy capital. And what I mean by that is that many times when you buy a business, you don't need to use any capital whatsoever because there are ways to negotiate with a business owner, especially if they're a little bit distressed and they need some help. You can negotiate a plan where you don't pay anything. And I got many clients who bought businesses that way. But many times, if the business is good, it's profitable, you'll need to pay money for that business. But the beauty is that that money don't need to be your money. It can be money that you raise from other financial institutions or financial partners, right? So when you raise that capital, another thing you got to learn is and understand is that, first of all, it's not you who raise the capital. So no one cares about your personal credit. When you buy a business, the business is raising the capital. So no one is looking at your credit. When financial institution is talking to you to potentially give you money to buy a business, all they care about is what assets the acquisition target got, what cash flow they have, what potential, I guess, risks the, the institution got when they're looking to buy those businesses. And are there risks involved if you raise capital? Perhaps. It depends if you know how to negotiate deals with financial institutions as well. If you sign personal guarantees, if you risk some other assets that you have potentially, there are ways not to do it at all. If you know how to structure things the right way and you know what are the options that you have with different financial institutions and, and partners. The next step that you need in this process is you need an M&A team, mergers and acquisition teams. And we're talking about advisors, people who've been there, done that, who know how to look at deals. You need accountants, lawyers, you need potentially industry experts if you're going into industry that you know nothing about. There are ways to pay them. Some people pay them flat fees no matter what. If you have money to spend, go for it. There are ways to negotiate and structure contingent fee, I guess, fees for those advisors, right? And I'm talking mostly about accountants and lawyers because good M&A person or good industry experts will want to work with you for free when you see you don't have any track record? Probably not right so those are the next step you got to know and I, i'm telling you if you don't know how to do those things and have the right partners around you i know company that bankrupt because they try to buy businesses and they pay the accountants and lawyers and think about it mergers and acquisitions accountants and lawyers they're not cheap and when you're paying them by the hour trust me they'll take their time so you got to know how to position yourself so they'll only get paid if and when the deal is done and when it's done you can then pay them from the business that you just bought from that cash flow you pay back the fees so that's what you got to know as well. You got to have the right team. And when you follow all of those steps, that's how you become a business owner. Obviously, there's some negotiations involved. You got to make sure that you have the right legals, the right contracts, the right, uh, I guess, negotiation strategies to make sure you're not paying too much. So you know how to analyze the deal the right way. And when you have all those things, you sign. It depends on the type of business, but usually you do some due diligence after you get to an offer that is accepted. You sign an LOI, letter of intent, and then you have a six to eight weeks of due diligence. After that period, everyone's shaking hand. It's like, it's pretty similar to real estate. If you bought a house or you know anyone who bought a house, it's a very similar process, right? And that's how you become an owner. And I'm telling you, one business like that can basically change your life. And when those things are being done, I mean, you don't need many businesses with a management team in place for you to live a great lifestyle. Like some of my clients, like John, who bought three businesses in less than a year. Like Dan, who bought 30 plus businesses. Like Divory, who bought seven businesses. Like Paul, like AJ, so many of those people who bought and just look at the case studies out there. Look at the testimonials. That's what's possible when you have the right strategy and the right accountability and support and the right team around you and the right process in place. And when you buy one of those businesses, like my, some of my clients who have businesses with management team in place, who run the day-to-day -day for them, and they used OPM, other people money, to buy those businesses, that's how you can, you can change your life as well. And the beauty is that when you buy the second and third and fourth business, the cross-selling, the synergies, that's amazing upside that you can have to the bottom line, to the profit. And every upside or saving costs in terms of like think about it if you buy a business in the same area you can save costs on on office space if you have an existing business you have your own financial department your own marketing department perhaps you don't need two departments with your second and th third business that's a lot of money that you can save and it all goes down to your bottom line to your profit that's the beauty in buying businesses that's how you can build wealth really really fast and i'm not even talking like i said if you buy a few businesses what we call a buy and build I mean, you can have an amazing exit if you decide to sell one of those businesses or as a group or potentially even IPO that group, which is possible as well. And there are a few other cool strategies that we can talk about where we can do those mergers 
in a in few days. And I don't want to overwhelm you, but there are so many cool opportunities in this space. But when you know all the strategies, when you know what execution to have on what strategy, those kind of results that are possible. Which leads us to the next step, the next shift, the next phase. And that's what I found with the most successful people in the space is that they all have a mentor, they all have a coach. And I mean, look at whatever place you want to look at. I mean, look at the basketball. Michael Jordan had a coach, Kobe Bryant had a coach. Because right now, after you watch this video, you have lots of ideas that if you're not going to implement and execute, you're just going to forget about it and it's going to be like, ah, oh, cool. I saw this cool. I have more information in my head, but you're not getting the result yet because you don't have a coach who's looking after you. And with the coach, with the right coach, it's not about the money you invest in that coach. It's about the money you're losing every single day for not having that coach. And in our case, every day that goes by and you don't have the right coach around you, that's a few million dollars that you're losing every single day for not investing in yourself and investing in the university of not knowing, in the, in investing in the unknown. I mean, can you try to do it all on your own? Yes. Will it work for you, perhaps? Will it take you much longer? Yes. And how do you know that you are not going to miss on the perfect deal tomorrow? Right? So you got to have a coach, someone who's been there, done that, who is a few steps ahead of you, who can have a second set of eyes on whatever you're working on right now. So if you're still with me, like I told you, today I promised to open your eyes on how you can buy one, two, three businesses, multi-million dollar businesses in less than a year and how my clients are doing that. And I showed you how to do that. I showed that, that you need to find, to find deals. You need to then make offers. You need to raise capital. You need to have the team. That's how you can build financial freedom in terms of your money, in terms of your time. And trust me, it's going to be much easier for you to be fulfilled and happy when you have time and money. You can meditate all day then. But you first need to get your financials handled first. Otherwise, it's going to be really difficult for you. So I promised you I'll show you how to do that. Now, now you have a choice, guys. You can either take all the cool information and go back to your day and watch Netflix. Or you can decide, you know what? I see the opportunity here. I know what's possible. I want to take things to the next level. And I know that I can get there. I love, I love the idea of buying businesses, of owning businesses, of being the strategic guy, of being the person who's making the big decisions, the vision of being in a business. And I know that I can make it work if I have the right support and the right strategy. And if you can relate to what I said, this is what... Uh, no, okay there. And if you can relate to what I said, this is why me and my team have set aside some time to talk to you one-on-one -on -one and help you figure out where you're at and where you want to be. And let's see what's the gap. And let's see if buying businesses is even for you or growing by acquisitions is even for you. And it's for you. And we think that we can help you fill that gap and get those results faster. We will tell you and show you how you could potentially work with us long term. But if not, it doesn't matter. We'll still want to give you some clarity. We want to make sure that you, clear, you get clarity on where you're at right now and what you're missing to get your goals. Because I'm telling you, every day that goes by and you're not taking action, it's just a waste of your life. And the last thing I want to, for you is that you'll get to the end of your life and realize that, you know what? I, I wasted my life. I could have been so much more. And you'll see, you'll see a, a better version of you that you could have been because you didn't take on those opportunities like the one I'm giving you right now. A free call with me and my team. We're going to check where you're at, where you want to be, and let's see if we can help you. Now, this call is not for everyone. This call is for people who are committed, who are sick and tired of staying where they're at. Or even if you feel like you have a nice lifestyle, maybe, maybe you, even, you even have a seven-figure business. It doesn't matter. I'm telling you, most of the seven-figure business owners that I know, they grow too slow because they're, the business is dependent on them. Or they just don't know how to grow things faster because they never even thought that they can grow and buy other businesses. So this is for people who are committed, who want to take action and want to take their next steps in their life, in their entrepreneurial life. I don't care if you never bought a business before, I'll take someone who's committed every single day and work with him versus someone who have no commitment at all. And the reason we're doing that is because I love helping people. I've been there. I know how difficult this space can be. And at the same time, do we have our agenda? Yes, we do. Because I know that potentially you will want to work with us to help you buy businesses. And then we can tell you potentially how 
in the future perhaps we can help you in terms of our strategic advice or financial advice and people are afraid that we're going to steal some deals from them there's no way we'll do that because this is our way to build a huge network of people who want to learn about this space and i know that if you do one good deal with me you'll want to do many many deals with me it's not a must for you to partner with me we are still willing to give you the strategic advice but i know that long term if you're going to be inside my inner circle there are going to be so many opportunities for us to work together because you are in a different ge geographic location than me because you know potentially a, a different language that i don't because you have industry experience and expertise that i don't have that's how i know how long term it can be a win-win for everyone i'll share with you my deal making experience and potentially help you strategically and financially and i have a deal making team accountants lawyers lots of industry experts who can help you as well i know what's working right now in terms of finding deals analyzing deals making offers compelling offers sequence of offers raising capital we have huge role decks of financial institutions we know how to then bring professional managers and how to grow those businesses and i think the biggest thing is that we care we can give you the support and accountability long term so if it's you if you're committed this call is for you a free call with me and my team i want you to also be resourceful I want you to also be coachable. So come, come to the call, empty your cup. Don't come thinking that you know everything. Be willing to learn. Even if it's for someone who's just like a few steps ahead of you in a chapter, few chapters ahead of you, right? You don't need Bill Gates to be your mentor. Sometimes all you need is someone who's just a few chapters ahead of you to learn a lot and change your life. And lastly, this is for people who are willing to invest in themselves. And not for people who are looking for get-rich-quick things. It's people who understand there is work involved. Getting and buying businesses, this is not a stay on the couch and become wealthy program, right? We're talking about taking action, a lot of action. Is it going to be difficult? I mean, there's still going to be challenges, but I'm telling you, it's going to be much easier if you're going to have the right support and the right accountability around you. So if it sounds like you, if you're committed, if you're resourceful, if you're willing to invest in yourself and be coachable, I know that we can help. So see the links below this video and, or go directly to moranpober.com forward slash talk. Put your details there, schedule a specific time that works for you, fill the application so we know where you're at and we get prepared for the call. And then make sure that you're in a quiet place in the call. It's going to be one of the most important hours that you spend in your life. I'm telling you, this can be the difference between you staying in the same place next year or owning one, two, three businesses, multi-million dollar businesses in the next year, like some of my clients. And go to moanpobert.com forward slash talk. I mean, you can see the results on your own. People who didn't have any experience in this space, who within a few months are buying multi-million dollar businesses and changing their life. And they started with this, going to the link, moanpober.com forward slash talk, and they schedule the call. And that can start a process for you to change your life. So if you're ready, if you're committed, you want to take things to the next level. If you're not sure if it's for you or not, don't schedule a call. No worries. Take the free information and just go back to your boring lifestyle. But if you want to take things to the next level, you want to get results, you want to change your life, let's do it together. So go to moanpaber.com forward slash talk. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some value today. And we're looking forward to talk to you.